So this video will be probably quite an uninteresting one to most people I imagine, but it is on significant enough of a subject that I feel that a video probably does need to come out about this from me uh, to update the information I've put out there about this, particularly as this is something I have to use when doing say the weapon videos where I map out projections of awakening effects and whatnot. So previously when I've spoken about the effect of Layla or Sonara, I've had a very specific mapped out set of numbers which comes out from this effect in terms of the amount of additional normal attacks you'll get and the total amount of normal attack damage through that uh, that you deal. The issue with my previous formula is probably easier if I show it in the spreadsheet. You can see here these were my previous numbers. So of course, without Sonara, the number on attacks and damage would be 1. With Sonara at base, it jumps up very significantly, and it continues to ramp up at very high levels. So it goes plus 0.3 attacks, and then plus 0.15 all the way to 4-star weapon. There was such a clear correlation with this, which never made me overly doubt uh, the formula. The issue is, the maps practically do assume a uh, hundred percent proc rate effectively right? every time you normal attack if you have sonara there these maths would suggest that every single time you're going to get a sonara reproc of some type because it's assigning guaranteed value to all of these whereas it isn't that simple because if this doesn't proc then this can proc of course and if this neither of these proc then this can proc but if this procs itself the, the three extra hits, then these two are effectively valueless on that normal attack. And in terms of their average value, they obviously have to lose value because of that quantifier. So the updated formula have here, you see it, it, there is a roll for the top outcome, most additional attacks. If this fails, then roll again for the next best, and then roll again for the next best if neither of them come free. Now I have this all for Layla as well. And overall, this will slightly bring down numbers I've suggested previously with female or lead theory crafting. And all future theory crafting of that stuff will use these new numbers. The maths on this, if you want to double check it, are really awkward. Uh, I'm not going to overly bore people and explain all this. You can screenshot this and pick holes in it if you want in the comments. I do believe it's correct. I've double checked it. Of uh, mathematicians basically formula is in effect the same as this you're just subtracting the reduced potential percentage chance that this even has to proc in because if this procs itself then this can't proc so of course then there's just a 10 percent less chance that this reproc chance has room to operate in so with layla weapon it's the same these are my previous numbers going back through this new formula they reduce ever so slightly, and this means pretty much everything I've put out there previously about like total active timings across fights and whatnot will be scaled down just a little bit. Isn't a huge deal whatsoever. It just will change theory crafting information ever so slightly that I've put out previously, and these numbers will now be what I use moving forward with any theory crafting uh, revolving around lead or female synergies.